Hey guys, so we're going to take a look at Yoshi's Woolly World on Nintendo Wii U, the very first console Yoshi game in a very long time, since Yoshi's Story on Nintendo 64 in fact. So it was definitely a long wait, but the game certainly delivered. It is uh, features an incredibly beautiful uh, yarn, art, yarn aesthetic, which of course you can see beautifully realized on the front cover. And uh, you know, we've got this adorable looking Yoshi here holding a yarn ball. We have uh, you know, this cute little poochie there. You can see Baby Bowser in the background, and he's being jumped on by the second player who's controlling Red Yoshi. We've got an enemy over there, some trees, some platforms, buttons, and flowers, and grass. It's a really beautifully detailed uh, front cover. Very, just very nice to look at, very eye-catching. And what I love is that down here on the Australian rating, uh, it's got a G rating with very mild violence warnings. <laughs> uh, I'm not exactly sure what mild violence they're referring to. Yoshi games generally aren't too violent, at least certainly this one anyway. But uh, yeah, no, I'd be curious to see what they actually you know, got for reference for that. Then we actually have the Wii U icon that we load up the game with. And you can see it's actually got this beautiful embroidery stitch, uh, stitching sort of effect around it. And uh, you know, we just got a cute little picture of Yoshi holding a yarn ball. And of course we have the game's logo. Then on the back... We have, uh, <laughs> the world is yours to unravel and the wooliest tale ever woven. And we of course have, you know, there's all these screenshots showing off how beautiful the game looks. It's, uh, again, it's a very unique aesthetic, even compared to something like Kirby's Epic Yarn. This game just goes above and beyond that game. So, uh, we've got all these different costumes that you can unlock, including, of course, the Wii U shirt, the Shy Guy mask, stuff like that. The costumes in the game aren't all amazing, but they're definitely a nice little bonus. We have uh, <laughs> Give Yoshi Wings in the easy mode, uh, all the different woolly transformations you can have, Mole Yoshi, Umbrella Yoshi, and Moto Yoshi. <laughs> and of course, Double Yoshi, you can use a Yoshi Amiibo to get a second Yoshi in game, so that's a sort of an AI partner for the game. Okay, so inside we have of course our disc, and this is really beautiful, they just went above and beyond on the disc art. So you can see we actually this special diorama and we've got Poochie and Yoshi looking up at us and waving. And uh, it's just adorable. We've got all this embroidery around the side, it really pops out on the disc. Um, all the flowers and it just really looks great. I always appreciate it when Nintendo goes above and beyond. We of course have our important information, software instructions, software warranty and contact information. Whoopee. And uh, there's something else back here though. Oh, what's this? Could it be? Could it be? No, it's 2016. It's just a Yoshi's Island manual. Like most games now, there's absolutely nothing in here. No exciting full color manual with artwork, which is which is kind of a shame because I'd actually like to see a lot more of the artwork from this game. I know that they made a ton of yarn dioramas and you know, great things like that, but uh, you know, I, I, I guess it's you know it's probably online somewhere, probably in an art book or something. But uh, you know, just kind of a shame that we don't get that, even though the game has you know obviously so much artistic. Uh, design and awesome things that we never really get to see. But that is your look at Yoshi's Woolly World on the Nintendo Wii U, a really fun 2D platformer if you like the genre. So thank you very much for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.